this video we'll discuss how to create, test and then execute a trading strategy based on going long when the body of the candle opens above the 20 period exponential moving average. Then closing the long position when the lowest price over the last 10 candles forms a new low. A short position will be created when the body of the candle opens below the 20 period exponential moving average. And the position closed when the highest high over the last 10 candles forms a new high. After the strategy has been created, it will be back tested to analyze its performance. In this example, a 4 hour interval candle will be used. To begin with, a spread bet demo trading account will be set up to test this strategy. You can create many demo trading accounts to test different trading strategies. Click on the Trade tab within the trading account to open the charts in order to create and then test the trading strategy. Select the Settings tab on the charts to add the 20 period exponential moving average and then the 10 period price channel indicator which will be used to determine the highest high and lowest low over the last 10 periods. Save the chart settings when finished. Click on the Alert tab to start creating the Trigger Trading Strategy. To create the short entry trade, add an alert trigger to check if the top of the candle body falls below the 20 period EMA. Add a trade to sell to open a position and only execute the trade if there is no position when the alert is triggered. Add a message to remind yourself why the alert was created. Then select how you would like to be notified when the alert conditions are met. Set the reactivation time frame to repeatedly execute the strategy by restarting the alert one minute after the alert conditions are met. Then click on the pause button to save the alert until we have created the other trigger trading alerts. To close the short position, Add an alert trigger to check if the upper price channel has increased by, for example, 2 pips, which is 0 0.0002 on this market. Add a trade to close the position, if short, when the alert conditions are met. Add a message to remind yourself why the alert was created. Then set the notification and reactivation details before pausing the alert. The short strategy can now be back tested to check that it has been set up correctly. To create the long entry alert, clone the short entry alert. Edit the alert trigger to check if the bottom of the candle body rises above the 20 period EMA. Change the trade to a buy, then update the message and pause the alert. Clone the short closing alert. Add an alert trigger to check if the lower price channel decreases by 2 pips. Then delete the other trigger. Change the trade to close the position if long when the alert is triggered. Update the message and pause the alert. Combined long and short strategy can now be back tested. With any strategy, when analysing the performance, 
the question to ask is when does it work and when does it not work? It looks like this strategy is better suited to trending markets and will likely generate losses when the markets are flat and trading sideways. Possible enhancement to this strategy would be to check the closing alerts on each tick rather than at the close of the candle. This would protect against a large price move over the 4 hour interval candle used in this example. Note that when back testing tick based alerts, only the open high, low and close information is available for the selected interval, not historical tick data. When the strategy is set up, activate the alerts to start executing the trades when the chart conditions are met. You can then view the trading history in the demo account that was set up to test this strategy.